Unit 1, Lesson 11, Polygons. Number 1. Select all the polygons. Figures A and C are polygons. Figure B is not because of the curved sides. Figure D is not a polygon because it is not a closed figure. Figure E is not a polygon. It doesn't have straight sides. Figure F is not a polygon because it's a three-dimensional figure. Number two, mark each vertex with a large dot. How many edges and vertices does this polygon have? This polygon has 12 edges and 12 vertices. Number three, find the area of this trapezoid. Explain or show your strategy. I will decompose it and rebuild it. Now it's a rectangle with a base of 6 and a height of 3. 6 times 3 equals 18. Count the squares. It has an area of 18 square units. Number 4. Lynn and Andre used different methods to find the area of a regular hexagon with six sides. Lynn decomposed the hexagon into six identical triangles. Andre decomposed the hexagon into a rectangle and two triangles. Find the area of the hexagon using each person's method. Show your reasoning. The dimensions show that the height of the hexagon is 10 and 4 tenths of an inch. So the height of the triangles would be half of that. Each of the six triangles have a height of 5 and 2 tenths inch. To find the area of these triangles, we need to multiply half of the base times the height, or base times height divided by 2. The base is 6, and half of the base would be 3. So half the base times the height would be 3 times 5 and 2 tenths. 3 times 5 is 15 and 3 times 2 tenths is 6 tenths. The area of each of the triangles would be 15 and 6 tenths inches. And since there's 6 of these triangles, we need to multiply 15 and 6 tenths times 6. 15 and 6 tenths times 6 equals 93 and 6 tenths. So the area of this hexagon is 93 and 6 tenths square inches. Andre decomposed his hexagon to have two triangles and a rectangle. Each triangle has a height of 3 inches and a base of 10 and 4 tenths inches. The rectangle has a base of 6 inches and a height of 10 and 4 tenths inches. To figure out the area of the rectangle, we would multiply base times height, or 6 times 10 and 4 tenths. To find the area of the triangles, we would multiply base times height divided by 2, or half of base times height. The base is 10 and 4 tenths inches, and the height is 3 inches. So 10 and 4 tenths times 3 divided by 2, or half of 10 and 4 tenths times 3. Half of 10 is 5, and 5 times 3 is 15. Half of 4 tenths is 2 tenths, and 2 tenths times 3 is 6 tenths. The area of each of these two triangles is 15 and 6 tenths inches. Simply add the area of the two triangles and the area of the rectangle and you'll have the area of the hexagon. The area of the hexagon is 93 and 6 tenths square inches. Number 5. Identify a base and a corresponding height that can be used to find the area of this triangle. Label the base B and the corresponding height H. The base is labeled B and represents 11 units. The height is labeled H and represents 2 units. Now we have to find the area of the triangle and show our reasoning. Find the area of a triangle, 
we need to multiply the base times the height and divide it by 2, or multiply half the base times the height. 11 times 2 divided by 2 is 11 square units. The area of the triangle is 11 square units. Number 6. On the grid, draw three different triangles with an area of 12 square units. Label the base and height of each triangle. The first one has a base of 6 and a height of 4. Half of 6 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. The second one has a base of 8 and a height of 3. Half of 8 is 4 and 4 times 3 is 12. And the third triangle has a base of 12 and a height of 2. Half of 12 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. All three of these triangles have an area of 12 square units.